Summertime, a great time to think about spending time at home, perhaps enjoying the pool in your backyard or in your neighborhood. But for a lot of you watching the show this morning, perhaps you're hoping this summer to find a new house to call home and you want to get make sure that your offer is the one that gets across the table to the seller. So lucky for you, Bruce Dodd happens to be a friend of ours here on the show with People's Home Equity and he joins us this morning. Good to see you, Bruce. Hey, good morning. Good to see you. I mean, you know, it's uh, a lot of people have a house they want to buy. Getting to be the one to get the offer is the key and that's where you're the man of the hour. Sure. Well, you know, it's all about being prepared and being able to demonstrate that you can complete the transaction. So, you know, what we do is we just get people, essentially, we treat the transaction as if you are already under contract and we get you called approved with conditions and the only conditions are related to property. So we get you as close to ready as one can be. Are you seeing buyer fatigue out there? Are people tired? No, not really. Um, you know, you see a mixed bag. I mean, I see people who look at one house and buy. Um, I see people that look at 10 houses and try to buy all 10 of them. So it just kind of depends on the person. Uh, but I still see those people who go out and look at one house and they end up at that house. So when it comes to their relationship with you, um, are, are you kind of one of the first people a buyer should be talking to? Well, I think for a lot of people that would be the best solution. Um, if you can figure out the financial piece of it, make sure you understand, you know, it, there's, there's a difference between necessarily what you can be qualified for and what you want to, you know, pay for a house. Mm -hmm. And so I think it's important to understand the financial parameters before you get too deep in the weeds. Uh, sometimes, you know, we're looking at, a house that, yeah, we could afford, but we don't really want to. Uh, that's not what we want to pay. And so I think it's important to make sure you're spending your time looking at the right place. I bet you if you were having a dinner party invitation, everybody would crowd around you right now because everyone wants to pick your brain probably on what you expect because you're seeing interest rates go up. Um, everything else in the life is going up too. Gas prices going well, up. I'd like to think, Julie, I'd like to think it's just because I'm such a fun guy. <laughs> well, there's that too. There, there, There is that little nugget that you have going for you. There's a lot of interest in that right now. A lot of people are wondering, you know, what's going to happen with interest rates. And, you know, nobody's got a crystal ball. Nobody can tell you for sure. Thing is, I just ask folks, do you think inflation is going to get cured tomorrow? And most people would say, well, no, I don't. So if that's the case, then we're probably going to see rates continue to move up. Now, they moved up very rapidly. And so I don't think they're going to continue with that rapid, you know, run up the hill. Yeah. I think things level off. Often what happens in financial markets, there's a giant reaction and then sometimes things, you know, step back a little bit. I don't think we're going to see rates get put down anytime soon. I'm just not sure they need to sprint upwards quite as fast, although I do think they're going to continue to move upwards. Well, Charlotte Mabry was on recently and she had brought some graphs with her and she was one of the things that she was talking about was a that they saw the, the market saw a 20% growth um, profit. What is what I'm looking for? Um, growth in value. Yeah, there you go. That sounds good enough to me. Uh, and that typically you see three or four percent in this past year it was 20%, but she does not think that we're going to see that 20% recess. It'll just continue to grow marginally from here. But the other thing she said was that adjustable rate mortgages are becoming a little bit more popular these days, as I understood it, because they're kind of catching up in a way with the fixed interest rate. Is that yeah, what you're seeing? Not, still not a great difference. Uh, often rates are going to be relatively similar. For, so for a lot of people, fixed rates still make the most sense. It just kind of depends on the person. And that's kind of where you come, though, right? Because I know you said that you think you'd be popular at the dinner party because you're such a neat guy to talk to. That's part well, of the conversation with you, though, is that you like to talk to people to yeah. guide them. Yeah, but people, I mean, I think one of the things is people say, well, you know, can I refinance when rates go down? Well, of course you can. It's just nobody knows when that's going to be. And so I think in life it's best just to kind of prepare for the worst and, um, and then you can be surprised if things get better. Mm -hmm. So I think it's important to just settle in on a house payment that you're comfortable making. 
and then on down the road, you know, that could get a little better. Okay, in working with you, uh, when they get approved with people's home equity, it's essentially like a cash offer. I mean, the... Yeah, the so, yeah, so we, we go ahead and address all sides of, of the transaction as they relate to you and get all of that approved. So it kind of does three things. One is it makes sure you're shopping with total assurance for yourself so that you know, hey, the transaction's going to happen. Everything's taken care of. Second thing is it makes it easier to get under contract because the seller can be assured that you can complete the transaction and we put out some money to even guarantee that. The third thing it does, though, is it makes the transaction a pretty chill process for people because they've already got their mortgage done. So the only things that you're dealing with are related specifically to the property. And so it just makes it for a lot less stressful experience. All right. So here is how you can get in touch with him, perhaps have a conversation of your own. No food required. People's Home Equity on East Brainerd Road, 591-9801 is the phone number. Chatmortgage.com is the website. And you're doing it now in person, but you'll still do it virtually if folks want to. Right, Bruce? Yeah. I think a lot of people's schedules are so busy, yeah. um, they just talk on the phone or do things over. You know, it's just whatever makes the client happy, we're happy to do. Sounds good. I like talking to you, my friend. So it's a pleasure.